I am Anil Kumar. I have designed few videos to understand how to sketch polynomials from given conditions and also appreciate their characteristics. Let's look into this question. It says sketch graph of a polynomial with following characteristics. Find a possible equation and then calculate the y-intercept. Now we are given five conditions here. The first one is f of minus 1 is 10, f of minus 2 is equal to 0, f of 4 is 0, so these two are x-intercepts or zeros. f of x is greater than or equal to 0 when x is less than or equal to 4 and f of x is less than 0 when x is greater than 4. You can pause the video, sketch graph, write equation and then check with my solution. Well, in such questions, you may have different answers. So let's just make a, a rough sketch uh, for this particular situation. Many times uh, you need trial and error to get, the, get it right, right? Now, what we're given here is two zeros which are at minus two and four in value of function at minus 1. So let us say this is minus 1, this is minus 2, right? And on this side we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let me place the two zeros, minus 2, we have a 0, right? And at 4 we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have a 0 there. f of minus 1 is 10. So let us say somewhere here is the value 10 for us. Now, what we are also given here is the function f of x is greater than or equal to 0. That means non-negative, 0 or positive, when x is less than 4. So that means on the left side of this, right? So on this side, the function is positive. Think like this, right? So it's above the x-axis on the left side of 4. And the function is less than 0, means it is negative on the right side of the second zero. You understand. So that is what the condition is. So on the left side of this, which is 4, function f of x, which is along the y-axis, independent variable for us is x. That is the origin for us. This is minus 1, this is minus 2, and here we have 1. So the function is non-negative on left side of 4, it has to go through these two zeros. So that clearly indicates that the first zero, the function will not cross this line, right? So this is kind of a double zero, right? So, so with the given options, and it's negative here, so what we can do is we can think about a graph which could go like this. Do you see that? Turning at uh, the zero and then going through the second zero, which is at four. You get the idea, right? So that is a smooth curve. Smooth curve represents polynomial from one infinity to the other, a continuous function. So that is kind of the graph which we can expect for the given function. And we can say at minus 1, this point is 10 for us. Let us say this point is 10 for us. So, so that is one of the graphs which fulfills the given condition, right? I hope the concept is clear. We could make it like kind of steeper, we could make it wider, depending on the stretch value. So we could have variety of graphs meeting these conditions, okay? Now let's look into the next aspect, which is find a possible equation and then calculate y-intercept. Now, we can write down equation of this function f of x as equal to a times here we have a turning point x plus 2 this is the 0 and since it turns we'll assume this to be of degree 2 right so we want to keep it simple then the other one is at 4 which is a linear 0 so we'll write this as x minus 4 as the next factor now since the graph goes to the point minus 1 10, we know this point lies on the function itself. 
So we'll substitute this point. Let's call this point P, right? So which is f of minus 1 is 10. So if I write minus 1 here, f of x is 10. So we can replace this value. So 10 is equals to a times x is minus 1 plus 2 whole square minus 1 minus 4, right? So that will help us to calculate the value of a. So what we get here is 10 equals to a times minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, and this is minus 5. Now since this is minus 5, a could be written as 10 divided by minus 5 is a, which is minus 2, right? So we get a as minus 2, right? So now let me rewrite this equation here. So we have f of x for the given condition as minus 2 times x plus 2 whole square times x minus 4. So that becomes the equation of this particular graph, right? Now the question is, find a possible equation and then calculate y-intercept. Now that is the y-intercept. y-intercept means x is 0. So that means we need to find what is f of 0 equals to. So let's substitute 0 here for x. So we have 0 plus 2 whole square times 0 minus 4. And that gives you the value minus 2 times 2 squared is 4 and minus 4, right? So that gives us 32. 4 times 4 is 16 times 2 is 32. Negative, negative becomes positive. So this point uh, should be at 32. This drawing is not to the scale, but that is how it should be. So the y-intercept is 32 for you. Correct. Okay. So I hope you understand the whole concept here. From the given conditions, we first sketched the graph. From the graph, we found a possible equation. And then we found the y-intercept. Now these are very critical steps. Go through them. And I hope with this, you understand the whole chapter. I'll take a few more polynomial graphs where the main focus will be on characteristics. I hope that should help you. Thank you and all the best.